So here we are on by Muskelunge Lake State Park in uh, UP on Lake Superior. A little foggy today. A little bit cool, probably about 60 degrees, but it's nice. There's no the, no uh, black flies biting in the ankles. But you can see what we're running here, these black sand layers, or the gold clicks in that iron sand, magnetite, hematite, all that. It's pretty cool layers. So you dump it in a gold cube with a micro mat. You can see how it separates a heavy gold mass in the cells. Some point to piece of gold in the cells, so it's, it's like it's working pretty good. So we've got a micro mat on top, a micro mat in the second layer, a micro mat in the third layer, and then a KP in the fourth layer. Instead of running a slick, a slick plate, like uh, Buddy Mick says, slick plate don't catch no gold. But this one does. So we're replacing the slick plate on top with the micro mat. And we're getting probably 90% of our gold here, so yeah, it gives you an extra tray. We just classify into the wagon and we just put the classifier in the wagon, shovel into that and lift it up and we're getting almost no rocks. If we get any rocks, it's bigger ones. So within the black sand layers, there's bigger rocks mixed in, bigger cobble. So maybe that's a good sign too. But just based on what we're seeing in the top micro mat, the dream mat, it's working pretty good. But yeah, these on this map here, you dump it upside down in a clean out tub clean in three seconds versus the original conveyor belt that the gold cube comes with you got to spray it and scrub it and then usually you don't even get all the gold out of it it's in there for next time and time and time again these tree mats are amazing to clean up they'll give you less material too to hand it's always going to have a long day so we'll be back later Sun's starting to come out, getting a little warmer. We're just about done running. We got probably three hours. I don't know how many buckets, maybe 10. I don't know. But based on what we got in the wagon after we classified. But you can see the layers over digging, and some of it's pretty pure black. And we're finding a lot of garnet sand too. Pretty neat how that works but maybe this driftwood slowed down some of the storm surge and the gold and the black sand settled better here. I don't know, but we're gonna find out tonight when we get back. We're seeing gold in the top micro mat, quite a few places we're seeing flecks of gold. So we'll see when we get back and do a cleanup. But it works pretty good. You know, we've got the three trays of micro, one of KD, and then we run into a, one of our clean out tub, and we got the pump over there in a small little plexiglass container just to keep the sand out of there. Then we'll scoop out of here once in a while just to keep that from getting too high that runs in the pump container. We've got a deep cycle marine battery. Let's see what we've run. That's pretty much what we've run. See the size comparison. I don't know, maybe eight pails total. I'm guessing. We got a little more in the wagon. And then we wash the wagon out because as we classify into the wagon, the heavies, the gold, probably settles on the bottom of the wagon, but then we tip the wagon up and we rinse it out real nice and put that through the cube. Just to make sure we get every all, all the gold. Because even when you put the material in the wagon, when you classify, the heavies will settle. It's not moving around much, so it probably won't stratify through the layers, but we're still going to clean out the bottom. Just to make sure we get all the gold. But you can see how it looks. Pretty mean how it runs bring everything down here in the wagon. We happen to come probably about half a mile. We're down there, we parked about half a mile down. But we run on, uh, you can see we run on the harder pack here. It's easier to pull the wagon. We're not gonna be up in the soft sand. We just go along the water and pull our gear down. It works pretty good. Neat area. We got Dutch up here doing some sampling. He's been here for three, four weeks. 
So he's trying to get some idea what to do. But that's it. Good day of gold cubing with the dream mat. If you want these dream mats, go to prospectorsdream.com. It's great stuff. So out of four gold cube trays with dream mat, that's the amount of cons we get. Maybe 10 tablespoons. Took one tablespoon out and pan the one tablespoon out. That's what we got. So it should be pretty good gold in there. But that's the cons. Not too many out of four trays and 10 buckets maybe, 10 five-gallon pails.